Hello Cancer, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. So when we look at your mutual energy in the recent past, their energy was one of feeling left in the cold, feeling like they were having financial problems, your person really felt like they didn't have a lot to give, uh, your person is in this sort of very Taurus energy of having lots of trouble in their mundane life that has spilled over to the life. For most of you, for many of you, this could mean that your person has just dropped out of sight, disappeared off the face of the earth, but it does look like in, it looks like they left you in the cold for many of you. Your energy towards them, Six of Cups, soulmate energy, you love them. It is Taurus energy. Um, it really speaks to the fact that uh, you are really in it to win it. You love this person. You feel very loyal to them. And that was the energy of the recent past. The current energy is that you are all up in your head. You are having sleepless nights. You're having difficulty with this. Your person is in this energy of throwing caution to the winds. You know, very, their energy is playful, but lighthearted, but not very serious. You know, the Page of Wands is fine if you just want to have, you know, a, a good time. It's sort of, sure, let's just throw caution to the winds. Let's not talk about anything in the past, Cancer. And you're in this energy of being really all up in your head with Gemini energy. In the future, what we see, the way you view the situation going forward, Cancer, is that you are going to make a very good decision about whether this person is going to be in your life or not. When I see your energy, we're looking at that, the justice, you know, that the Queen of Swords energy is all about cutting people out of your life that do not serve you. So you're looking at this person in a very matter-of-fact way, very with a lot of clarity. This person is looking at you as someone, they're, they're very detached also. So we have the Queen and King of Swords. So usually that's a couple that's in separation, okay, Swords. Your person is feeling more mild about this situation. Their energy is very much sort of this Dr. Doolittle, you know, speak to the animals. You know, they, they have a degree of wisdom in terms of what they've done in the relationship. Um, it looks as though, you know, as we move forward through the energy, your heart broken. They would like to reconcile, okay? So that's very important. This is the way both of you are looking at this. So they, you view them as someone who broke your heart. They view you as someone with whom they could reconcile. In your heart space, you feel really overwhelmed, Cancer, Piscean energy. You feel like with this moon card, like you're just drowning in emotion. Your person is feeling about this relationship like it's workable, we could still get back together. The temperance energy says that they do think that they can win you back. The three of coins says that this has happened in the past, maybe, and is in a smaller way. So when you look into the future, what do you want with them? And I get the the uh, nine of the ten of cups, happily ever after energy, Cancer. Uh, I get with them, they want to completely renovate the relationship, gut it, and make a new determination, have a new beginning with you, but um, but that death card does indicate that there's a lot of upheaval. Now, when we look at the death card, we really have to look at, do they want a death with you and a rebirth with someone else, or do they want a death and a rebirth with you? So that's the question. So as I look at the cards, we're going to go forward, and I would say they want a death and rebirth with you, or you've had a death and rebirth. So I see reconciliation energy here for both of you. We look at the energy that they want reconciliation when we look at how they view you. You're looking at them as, you know, you want reconciliation with them. So I really like to use the same deck so that we get mirroring energy. So we have this nice mirror here, very powerful mirror. When we're looking at how they think that this will happen, intuitively they know that they need to reach out to you. You're looking for a new beginning, and what we're seeing here is that your person will reach out to you, Two of Cups. 
So it does look like there's a possible reconciliation this week, Cancer, um, but this new beginning is starting and your person is a step ahead. They want to be, they want to give you more. The Two of Cups is a bride and groom energy and the rider wait. So, you know, it's, it's two hands entwined. It's choosing one another. It is a soulmate energy as is your Six of Cups energy. It does look like you've known this person for a long time. I like the outcome energy for you. The two happiest cards in the deck. Your energy is, yes, yay, I'm ready to party. I'm ready to dance. I'm ready to do a little dance, you know, get down tonight. And the sun card is the happiest card. You know, we're seeing this Leo energy. Your person is very much in this energy of wanting to enjoy you. But the Sun card is a very profound card. I find that the Sun card is necessary to longer. Long-term relationships really need the, the Sun card to be uh, present because it speaks to the fact that no matter how badly things could go in the relationship, there is a joy, a joie de vivre, uh, a feeling of joyfulness, happiness, attraction, very hot, very intense. So it really does portend uh, a good outcome for the two of you at this time. So let's look and see what wisdom the oracle has for you. The bottom of the deck, though, before we get started, is that you're willing to invest in this relationship. This person feels like they don't know what to do. The Four of Cups is... Sometimes taking you for granted, sometimes being bored with their life in general. Uh, so this was your energy coming into the reading. What we have as the wisdom of the oracle states is by the book. You want this person to be by the book. You want them to follow dating rules and dating protocols. And they want the same thing. I get serendipity. The timing is right for you, Cancer. It's a very good time in this relationship. This one wants to come out. What does it say? Message in a bottle. So I do think that you will receive a message from this person. I do think, though, that getting back together and getting on the same page is going to take a lot of negotiation because we have round and round. And that's like a merry-go-round. So you do feel coming out of this week and into this reconciliation that there are still things that have to be handled in the relationship. Let's look and see what Wendy and Brian Freed with Fairy of Heart of the Fairy Oracle have to say about some of the cards that I see in front of me. So the five of coins, how did they feel when they appear to have done a disappearing act? That seems a little contradictory, but Lady of Leprechauns. They were off chasing like clouds, you know. Lady of Leprechauns is a is a very um She's not real. I mean, she's a leprechaun and she likes to have relationships with men that she captures or she can get a hold of. But what it does is it does speak to the fact that your person isn't very well grounded in reality. That they kind of live a, a fantasy life of what relationships should, should actually be. Why do we have you feeling all up in your head? Yeah, the queen of the night. See? You're really, really, you want your person to, to show up. How are they feeling with that, that page of wands about showing up with communication? Queen of the Shadows. So they're not quite there yet. I would say both of you have some energy that you need to work on. When we get shadows, we have some, I do have a shadow deck called the El Goliath. So it does speak to the fact that both of you have some old wounds, old issues to work on. It's inner work. It's not outer work. You can't do it for them. They can't do it for you. But both of you are in a state of depression. You don't like being without each other isn't especially good. I can see that with the queen and king of swords a dreaming. You're both dreaming about each other. I like that energy. It's really gorgeous. It really speaks to the fact that even though you're in separation, you're facing each other. You know, when we look at the card here, the cards, when we look at these two cards, we're getting the king is facing the queen, okay? So that's pretty important stuff, and you're both dreaming about each other. So now we have, for the heartbreak, the queen of laughter. Oh, my goodness. 
So your person really wants to get back together with you because when things are good, you guys, the two of you have lots of laughter, lots of joy. This is how your person sees you. One who's quite happy, quite deliberately so, that you're a very good, uh, you can tell a good joke, but you can listen to their good jokes also. So they find you as being very delightful. The juggler, okay. So when we look at the energy that says that you're underwater, you feel as though you've been juggled. You always feel as though they've chosen more than one person. The death card, what is that? The Elven Knight. Oh, beautiful. The Elven Knight is really the Knight of the Forest. This is the Knight that fixes things, cures things. Uh, the Elven Knight is very powerful. The Elven Knight is what keeps the forest a safe place. So it does look like this person is rebirthing a better version of themselves for you at this time. What do we see about the energy of this person keeping their intuition to themselves? The challenge. Well, they know what the challenges are. They intuitively know exactly what they did. The fact that they brought all this drama. Why do we have the Two of Cups here? Beautiful energy for you. The temptation is reversed. Good. Oh, good. For the first time, your person actually feels as though... They could focus just on you, Cancer. Nice. Oh, beautiful energy with the... Oh, look at this. This really popped out just this way. I picked up the cards. What we're seeing here is the hope, okay? The hope and the boy and of two minds and the messenger. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing something that's very good. What I see for you, what I see for you, Cancer is that you have a great culmination. The week looks like it ends with the two of you talking. It looks like you make it together. You may have dinner. You're, you're going to have laughter. You're going to have happiness. It looks like you're going to make love. And what I'm getting is that they're moving past temptation. They're moving into the energy that is the hope, okay? The message available to you is that the person had they couldn't make up their mind. They were always of two minds. The message in that is that there's a little bit of Peter Pan here, the boy. The boy. I just want to be a boy. I don't, you know, I don't want to grow up, that sort of energy. So that's what happened in the past is basic immaturity. Basically, by choice, your person does have the ability to go much deeper. So, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you the best. Namaste. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.